Good morning students. Welcome back to biology class chapter 3 plant kingdom part 2. Chlorophyll bearing organisms are called plants. Kingdom plant A are divided into considering morphological, anatomical, cytological characters. They are grouped into algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Today we are going to discuss about the bryophytes. Okay. Bryophytes include the various mosses and liver words that are the two groups of the plants that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Okay. Bryophytes including mosses and liverworts and it is present in the shaded, moist shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because why it is called, why bryophytes are called amphibians of plant kingdom. These plants means bryophytes can live in soil but they are depending on water for sexual reproduction. Because of that reason, bryophytes are called amphibians of plant kingdom. They are living in the soil but depend on water for sexual reproduction. They usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. They play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks or in the soil. The first forming plants, it is rare plants, we can see that one in the rock also we can see. The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus, but thallus have like and prostrate or erect. The plant body is differentiated, not completely differentiated, but it is a thallus like structure, but it is straight and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. Rhizoids means root like structure. They lack true roots, stem or leaves. They may possess root like, leaf like or stem like structures. The main plant body of the bryophytes is haploid. It produces gametes, sex cells. Hence it is called gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called antridium. They produce biflagellate to flagellate anthrozooids. Okay. Male sex organ is antridium. It produces the biflagellate anthrozooids. The female sex organ is called archegonium. It is flask shaped and produces single egg. The anthrozooids are released into water where they come in contact with the archegonium. An anthrozooid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called sporophyte, that is the plant. The sporophyte is not free living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. Next, we will see the economic importance of the bryophytes. Okay. The economic importance of bryophytes. First, when some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, plant-eating mammals, birds and other animals provide food. Second, species of sphagnum, the name of a bryophyte, sphagnum, a moss, provide peat that have long been used as fuel and because of their capacity to hold water as packing material for transshipment of living material. 
for transporting some of the plants will keep for the vegetables and fruits so like that this moss sphagnum and marcosin will keep for the because of their holding water capacity third point mosses along with lichens are first organisms to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance they decompose rocks making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants since mosses form dense mats on the soil they reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent soil erosion the bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses okay what are the economic importance first point food then the hold water holding capacity then it is ecologically important then they are the producing some fuels controlling the soil erosion okay these are the sum of the points then the bryophytes divide into liverworts and mosses first point liverworts the liverworts grow usually in moist shady habitat such as banks of streams marshy ground damp soil bark of trees and deep in the woods the plant body of liverwort is thalloid thalloid means a plant body is not differentiated into completely root to stem true root true stem true leaf is absent example marcantia the thallus is dorsi ventral both the side it is present upper and lower side is different and closely oppressed to the substrate the leafy members have tiny leaf like appendages not leaf leaf like structure in two rows on the stem like structure it is not completely present the leaf but leaf like structure asexual reproduction in liverworts takes place by fragmentation of thallus or by the formation of specialized structure called gemme gemme are green multicellular asexual buds which develop in small receptacles called gemma cup located on the thallus the gemme become detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals during sexual reproduction male and female sex organs are produced either on the same thallus or on different thallus the sporophyte is differentiated into food seta and capsule food that is the root like structure seta stem like structure capsule the leafy structure there after meiosis spores are produced within the capsule these spores germinate to form free living gametophyte second division that is the mosses the pre dominant stage of the life cycle of a moss is the gametophyte gametes are present that side which consists of two stages the first stage is the protonema stage which develops directly from a spore it is a creeping green branched and frequently filamentous stage the second stage is the leafy stage which develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bud okay these are the mosses contains uh, two stages protonema stage and that is develops from the directly from a spore and the second stage it is the leafy stage that is developed from the secondary protoma protonema the, they consist of upright slender axis bearing spirally arranged leaves they are attached to the soil through multicellular and branched rhizoids rhizoids means root like structure this stage bears the sex organs vegetative reproduction in mosses by fragmentation 
and budding in the secondary protonema in sexual reproduction the sex organs and radia and archegonia are produced at the apex of the leafy shoots apex means the tip of the leafy shoots after fertilization the zygote develops into sporophyte spore producing structure consisting of food seta and capsule the sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than that in liverworts the capsule contains spores spores are formed after meiosis the mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal common examples of mosses are funaria polytrichum and sphagnum